Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Luis. This is Green Zebra. I am wearing orange today, so it doesn't match. But we're doing an unboxing today. I was gonna say it matches the orange. We got a giraffe tools. Uh, what are they called? Retractable hose reel. This is 130 feet. It's a half inch wide on the hose. It comes with a bright orange um, nozzle. Has different uh, settings like your standard ones. Don't we all love that sound? Oh wait, camera's over there. So I gotta look at that. There we go. So we have a nice nozzle. I mean, it's technically an unboxing, but not really because I've already unboxed it last night. I'm kind of cheating. But anyways, um, I wanted to show you guys. I'm actually setting the thing up where I'm gonna hang this on because this actually goes onto the wall, or you can actually put it onto a post like this one here but I don't have any water sources here so um, I do have a water source in the garden if you saw my last video which I'm still working on at the time of this recording um, you'll see you'll know what I'm talking about if you haven't watched that video why not go check it out um, it's basically all about just a basic overview of my um, drip system and this guy, it has a splitter on the hose bib, on the hose nozzle, spigot, whatever you want to call it, or however it's called. Um, but this is going to go there. Uh, I'm not going to mount it on the wall. I am going to mount it on a post, and I am putting it into a container. Uh, you know, one of those half whiskey barrel containers, but it's not the real wood. It's the resin plastic ones from Home Depot. They are meant to be out in the sun. Although the spot where I'm putting it is not, rarely gets sun, barely gets any sun. It really only gets morning sun, and so it should stay nice and pretty. It'll still go with the gardening theme, whatever. I was going to use one of those totes, uh, but the totes, you know, after a while they've been in the sun or been outside exposed to the elements for that uh, that much, it's just going to it's just gonna basically fall apart. Although because I am filling it with concrete, quickcrete, it's not really going to make a difference because as long as it still holds its shape, it's fine. I didn't want to put the post into the ground. Um, just because I don't want to dig. So, but anyways, on to the unboxing. Be careful. <laughs> anyways, like I said, I already took this out last night. This is probably not the way to take it out, but that's how we take it out. There's nothing else. It's just a giant piece of styrofoam. These guys, uh, Giraffe Tools, was kind enough to send one out for testing purposes, so I am going to look at that, and we're going to go ahead and check it out. But I do love the color on this. I love the orange. There we go. It retracts right in. We have our hose in, so then this is what we're going to attach the nozzle to. Uh, it does come with a liter hose which is going to go from the actual spigot on that splitter directly into the side you can see that into the side right there in the middle and that's what's actually going to feed the water directly into the hose let me give you a close up of this all right before we do that i wanted to show you this is a leader hose um l-e-a-d-e-r leader not you know as it follow the leader not as in like a leader bottle of soda or something so here's the gasket, it goes in here, put it over, and that's what's going to go into, actually one end, like I said, onto the actual unit, and then the other one is going to go into the water. But let's uh, quit messing around and get you over. Okay. There we go, I thought I had hit the button. So anyways, here's the inside of it. Um, let's get my finger out of the way. You can see the hose is all wrapped up in there. It does come with all the hardware for it, and it does come with, on the back of this, it has the template for you to use on your post, or wherever you're going to put it, or if you're going to put it on the wall. Um, I kind of thought about putting it on the wall, but I'd rather have something that I can easily take with me if need be. And I don't want to leave holes in the wall, so... And, you know, of course... When you start filming, you get all the veins and stuff. Anyways, so that's what I'm working with. That's what I'm working on. Um, 
this will be like I said a complete guide or a complete video as to the unboxing I mean the unboxing didn't really take much because as you can see it's pretty much it. I have to take this one off and I gotta put the hose on but let me go ahead and show you um, and let's grab this because this is actually what I'm gonna need let's walk over and so this is what I want to avoid this right here just hose everywhere yes there's a thing right here on the wall to put it on there but it's much of a pain so we're gonna go through here I gotta grab that as a bag of quick creek and I know everybody's gonna all of a sudden become an expert as to how and how you should not use quick creek is that a tomato I left out here that is a tomato I left out here yesterday um, but we will see how this works out so we're heading to the back we have a cabbage moth, but we also have some pretty butterflies. Uh, I don't know, it's a bright orange one. Monarchs. And that is why we grow beneficial flowers, and flowers in general. Anyways, so this is going to be the corner where it's gone. I've already dumped out a bag of quick rate. I got really lucky, um, and I found a four foot post. Exactly. This sell them an eight to an eight foot post that are already better cut out. Um, I can't think of the word, but it's the you know all weather chemical whatever post, um, and so then that way it doesn't rot away. But it is going directly in concrete. It's not going to be in contact with soil. Um, but this is what I would recommend. The template for the hanging I'm going to put on here on the other end because this is actually going into the concrete because this is the side that's cut and there's also a little bit of damage on it here possibly when they cut it so I'm just going to put it right into the barrel and so then that's going to be pretty much covered up to here and so I'm not going to care so I'm going to go ahead and set this up uh, quickly does take I was told I think 36 hours so I'm going to set this up uh, and then when we come back we are going to have it basically all set up all posted in there and then i will go ahead and make sure that everything is level and set the actual hose directly on there i just really wanted the leader hose right now because ironically i don't have a hose here so i'm gonna um to actually you know mix in with the water here with that quick rate so i'm gonna use the leader hose already to connect it to here and so then that way I don't have to go very far because the only thing I have here is just the drip system and that mess of hose that you just saw a minute ago that I don't want to deal with but anyways um, we're gonna end this portion of the video here and then we will pick back up these guys may be gone by that point because um, although there's bees all over so I don't want to take it down um, once we come back, I'll have everything set up, and then the only thing I'm going to show you is then the install and then how it works. Um, but that's pretty much it for now. Oh, this is just the beginning of it. I just wanted to see you. I just wanted to see you guys see the whole process, or most of it, anyways. All right. All right, guys. So I had imported three bags of 50 pounds of uh, quick crate. I want to say it was the orange bag. I don't know if it's, it was on purpose because this is orange, but. I put in the three the three bags. Here's the container. This is a you know obviously for plants. So I figured even though it's not getting full sun in this corner, I'm gonna put it uh, I'm still gonna get something that's meant to be outside. Um, no I didn't do the measurement exactly as far as the water. Um, as far as you know per the quick creek bag or even their videos. Uh, but I do have the post um, that is meant for outdoors, but I probably won't get back to it today. I may do it uh, I'm working from home on Monday, so I may do that today Saturday If not worst case scenario, I can probably do it next Thursday or even next weekend. I'm hoping for Thursday um, But I will go ahead and show you the rest of the install video for the hose itself that is the uh, the nozzle that came with it. I did use the leader hose to connect it here. It's going to be connected here anyways. And so then this guy is what's going to go directly into it here. Sorry, here. And so then that way I don't have 
and I don't have anything behind it over here that it's gonna block this I'm just gonna leave installed because it's gonna be more of a pain in the butt to take it out so I guess I could have um, installed it on this wall but then the hose wouldn't have reached I would have had to actually do it right here or here or here um, and I don't know that I want it to mess with the compost bin that's right here next to it um, so this I think it works out better and this thing is heavy so I know it's not gonna move uh, the water is going down and so I'm just gonna let it do its thing All right, so there it is installed. It actually works really well. We let it set. Uh, it's quick read, so their website and YouTube channel said four hours. Of course, it's gonna continue drying. But, went ahead and connected it right down to the water source. And we're set to go. We've already done the garden. I watered this funny because I watered my side of the garden. Basically the the raised beds and whatnot. And honestly the biggest thing I did was the Home Depot buckets. Because the uh the self watering containers these guys. Um because I hadn't watered them in a while and the plants weren't looking all that great. But I went through and I watered them all. The nozzle on this thing is actually pretty awesome. And so I just put it right on top of the opening on those grow buckets, on the grow tech things, and it filled them up pretty well. It was awesome. Um, once I retracted it and put it back into the, I don't know what you call this, the, the housing, uh, mom comes over, she goes, okay, you done with it? Cause uh, I wanna do my side, which on her side, if you've been around, is the other side. So this side along this wall, um, she's got succulents and all kinds of plants. And so I showed her how to use it, and um, yeah, it's a pretty big success. Very, very many thanks to Giraffe Tools for sending this out. I went ahead and used the lag bolts they included, these massive bolts. I used the template they provided, which is on your instructions. Uh, but basically, this piece lifts straight up and so you end up with just the piece in the back that you attach you can i could have attached it to the wall here but i didn't um there we go zoom out a little uh but i didn't so i just went ahead and put it onto this post um honestly it's not the, like i'm gonna move it but i think it just makes it better i don't know i, I don't want to dig in or you know put it into this wall because the um the water heater is in there it's in that room and so i you know i don't think it would have been an issue honestly but i don't want to drill into all that so i just went ahead and did this i got really lucky yesterday at home depot uh because i was going to get one of these posts the eight foot post this is i can't remember what they're called like the all weather post basically uh somebody i know somebody's going to tell me in the comments um and so I went ahead and just put, and I went over there and I was going to buy the eight foot post. I was going to have him cut it. My brother-in-law had told me that when you buy these kinds of posts, they don't like to cut it. I think he said because of um, some kind of chemicals or something. But, and so I, I was ready to buy the regular four by four. And I may actually end up getting a cap for this. The problem is the caps are like 10 bucks. Make it, you know, like a finial or something on here. Anyways, he said that they wouldn't cut them. And so when I went, I went, uh, you know, they have a cart over by where they have the saws. Where they cut the wood for you and you know the cold 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 c-u-l-l-e-d basically all the scraps and so i went over and they had the exact piece i needed the exact wood already cut to the four feet it was 70 percent off and so i paid 30 percent for 50 percent of the wood <laughs> so i only paid oh and the only other thing i bought was uh a level and that was five bucks. So I paid twelve bucks, so the level was five. So I only paid seven bucks compared to nineteen. Um, 
I think I'm pretty good. I don't think I've ever gotten out of Home Depot with under, you know, maybe 40 or $50 worth of stuff. But anyways, I digress. I'm sure I'm, the, I'm sure I'm not the only one. Anyways, that's it. Again, many thanks to Giraffe Tools. We love it. Um, and we're going to keep using it. The only issue I have, and this is not their fault, um, is because when you pull this, we're just going to have to pull it slow. It, like, leans forward just because I guess it's not heavy enough because it's just technically concrete. And so the whole container, like, lifts. So we just have to be careful when we lift it um, or when we pull this out. Uh, I know I wouldn't have that issue if it was attached to a wall. I realize that because it's... Hi guys, just one last time. Thank you for watching the channel. Go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Hit the bell notification and subscribe. Uh, of course, I will have the links to the Giraffe Tools website below. Uh, of course, it is an affiliate link, so go ahead and check it out. They not only do uh, hoses, like regular hoses, like water hoses, they also have hoses for like shops for air hoses. Uh, and it's the same idea all on a reel. I think they started with those and now they're realizing that they can use watering hoses and so now they've kind of I think branched out. I don't know the whole story on it. I probably should but I'll link their website below. You can read up on their website. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks again. Bye.